With the December 16th, 2022 deadline around the corner for the FAA's remote ID, you're probably wondering, is your drone compatible? What should you do? Let's talk about it. So DJI and the FAA have released a list of drones that comply with remote ID. The list includes the drone manufacturer's popular platforms like the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, the Avata, the Air 2S, Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Cine, M30, and M30T. According to DJI's website, it says newly manufactured versions of those drones will comply with remote ID rules with no further action required. Customers who already own those drones will be able to comply with remote ID rules by downloading a free firmware update at a later date. DJI is seeking FAA approval for additional drone models, which will be posted on the FAA's website as they are approved. Now I went over to the FAA's website to check for drones like the DJI Mavic 2, and I did not see those as of yet. And I do know a lot of people who fly those drones. My friend Amanda showed me her Mavic 2 about a month ago, and she showed me that it said remote ID in the settings, but according to DJI and the FAA's website, I have not seen the Mavic 2 or really any of the old drones listed on the website, like the Phantom series. So that's probably concerning to many drone pilots out there. So what is going to be the situation involving those drones? If not a software update, the DJI website says customers will be able to install the add-on module. So this add-on module will be used for remote ID broadcasting. I don't know, honestly, it seems like the FAA and drone manufacturers are not prepared for the December 16th deadline because I don't see the older drone models listed and I've gone through tons of articles, I've gone through the website, I can't find anything. So that's kind of concerning. I thought at this point I'd be able to have a more thorough video for you guys, but I'm going to keep my eye out on this and if anything else comes up i'm going to create another update video right away make sure you hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you don't miss that video also give the video a thumbs up so that it ranks higher hopefully we'll have more answers for you guys soon especially people flying with older dji drones that deadline is literally coming up in just a few days from now so we'll see what happens here but yeah i'll keep you guys posted